If I were to ask you to give me a movie franchise with multiple sequels, you tend to think of horror movies or James Bond films. But there is one franchise, an action movie franchise, which has achieved also relative success and generated multiple movies. Yes, I'm talking about the Fast and the Furious franchise. And today we're looking at Fast and the Furious 7, or Furious 7, depending on what region of the world you're in. Furious 7 stars Vin Diesel, the late Paul Walker, Dwayne Johnson, Michelle Rodriguez and directed by James Wan. I'm actually quite intrigued that they use James Wan to direct the seventh installment. You see, James Wan is a horror movie director. He's done a lot of low-budget horror films, which you've probably seen. He's done Saw, Insidious, Insidious Chapter 2, The Conjuring and The Conjuring 2, which is out next year. So the film sees Dom and his crew being able to come back to the States after having their names cleared whilst dealing with a dangerous mercenary. However, the mercenary's older brother, Derek Shaw, is now out for revenge and will do what he can to kill Dom and the rest of the team. So basically, it's a straightforward revenge film that includes fast cars and heists. And I think that's the one thing that attributes to the longevity of the franchise is its evolution. You see, the first four movies had street racing themes, which does get rather dull and only appeals to a certain audience. By adding different elements and adding more action, the filmmakers were hoping to attract a wider audience. And I think it has worked to a certain extent. I'm not really going to get into the story as it is rather cliched. The acting is somewhat decent, but the dialogue is just awful as it's full of cheesy one-liners. I honestly don't think that James Wan was ready to tackle such a massive project. But in saying that, there is some comedy in the film which will at least elicit some laughter. Even though the movie is bad in that department, I still enjoyed the film. Fast 7 continues where its predecessors started. It brings impossible physics, insane stunts, and pleasing visual aesthetics to the table. Yes, it's basically the action that sells this film. It's one of those movies where you can just sit back and don't have to do much thinking and enjoy the visual thrill ride of explosions and cars doing things that cars should just not do, such as jumping between buildings. Now this review cannot be complete without talking about Paul Walker. Walker died tragically in a car accident whilst filming was halfway complete. Thus, in order to complete his part, the filmmakers used body doubles and his brother was also used as a stand-in and CGI was used to reconstruct his face and his voice. And if you listen very carefully in some scenes, you'll actually hear his voice change due to the, the voice effects of the CGI. And at the end of the film, the movie gave a very touching tribute to Paul Walker, which I'll admit even had me quite choked up. So with that in mind, Fast 7 gets a carbureted 6 out of 10. My name is David Braz and thanks ever so much for watching. If you like what you see and want to see more, then please like, subscribe and share. And comments are always welcome.